Hey, this is Tuxedo Mark, and welcome to another episode of Flamtron, the Voltron vlog. I'm reviewing episode 38, uh, Raid of the Red Berets. Okay, the episode starts on Plan of Doom. Zarkon is berating Lotor for his continued failures. And I don't know how... Sar Sartan has put up with this for so long. In real life, if your top commander, you're, you're trying to take over for some place, okay? You're, you're the king. And your top commander keeps bungling a mission to take over one place over and over and over again. Like, Dozens of times already, probably. At what point do you just kill him? Or at the very least replace him? Now, if he's your son or your child or whatever, then you might have some leniency, but not much. You at least remove him, right? And replace him with someone else? But anyway. Uh, Lotor talks his dad into checking out his latest plan. Uh, robots wearing red berets. Yeah. Robots wearing red berets on their heads. Anyway, so he sends the robots to Planet Eris, and apparently. Uh, the original Go Lion episode is very gruesome and bloody because these are assassins that slaughter the people, often in very gruesome ways. It's almost like a horror episode. Of course, all of that's removed in the American version. Anyway, the Voltron Force is out on patrol. The people are happy that the lions are patrolling. They feel safe, and they give Princess Allura credit for it. But then when the berets attack, the entire population storms the castle. As Keith calls it, Keith calls it Castle Eris, which is weird because that's the Castle of Lions, but whatever. And they're calling for Allura's removal. They're shouting down with Allura. And when Allura learns this, she is pissed. She is seriously pissed. I mean, she doesn't raise her voice, but that look on her face, that's like the angriest that I've ever seen her. Um, and, and she holds that look for quite a while. But anyway, the lions go to do their thing and try to they gather to uh, assure the people. Um, Koran gives a speech and within a few seconds, of him saying, you know, look after yourselves. You're like, we were wrong to blame the princess. We have to do this ourselves. This is the most easily swayed population of commoners that I've ever seen. Um, Keith gets disabled, his line gets stuck in lava or something, so they can't form Voltron, but then... The team lifts him up using their eye beams from their lines, okay? And they have the Robies free him from the lava. They form Voltron, they defeat the Robies. Uh, back on Planet Doom, Zarkon is berating Lotor again. Lotor says he'll use the Red Berets, and he, they're like, he's like, you can't use robots to fight people, you gotta use people, or so, something stupid like that. Then, uh, the episode ends with the team hanging out somewhere, standing, it's peaceful, it's like twilight or something, and Keith gives the typical speech about, you know, the might of Voltron and stuff like that, and, um, Yeah, so, uh, another filler episode, but at least Allura, 
she doesn't get anything to do differently necessarily. Um, I would have liked her to be. I would have liked the episode to make a part of showing her be the one to protect her people so she could regain their trust. They just kind of regain their trust because of Koran's speech. But, uh. Allura at least got to show some emotion, some genuine anger at being blamed for this by the people, at their calls for her removal. So that, that was a good part of the episode. Um, the rest, not so much. I kind of want to see the original Goal Line version now, since apparently it's very close to like being a horror anime. But anyway, um, oh, uh, uh, the uh, episode uses the um, almost long version of the close to credits. They just remove the shots of the uh, team on the ground in uniform. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.